We are out for our morning walk. Well, it's almost afternoon. But we're walking. We're out for our walk. So the key is, is we try and walk three to five miles a day. We have not been doing that as of late. No, we have not. So we got to get back on it. So today's a new day. We're getting back on it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you another RV tip, which uh, may affect too, or may not. We were traveling, I don't even know what state it was, and uh, we're driving along the highway, people are driving up next to us, like pointing at us, look, and we're like, what, what are you pointing at? Right, because everything seemed fine and didn't notice anything bad. And then finally, I think somebody pulled up next to us and said, your hose or something. So we looked in the rear view mirror and looked down low, and sure enough, our hose was sticking out of its container. Our, it was our, swinging around on the ground. It was hitting yeah, it was, it was swinging all around the ground. And it was basically destroyed. So this could save you 50 bucks more depending on how much you pay for yours. I'll show you a little hack that we did to make sure that the storage bin for your RV hose, if you store it the same way, way we do, may, uh, may fix the problem. A little quick fix, an easy tip. Okay, so Airstreams, the way they store their, uh, their waste hose, they store it underneath here, as you can see. So I just put a little Velcro tape on there and that stops it from the door rattling open as you're going down the road. The other thing is make sure when you put your hose inside that tube that you push it back and that will cause it from not coming up against the door and moving the door. So just another RV tip for you. Okay, Tam, what are you making today? So today I'm going to make a protein bread and it's made out of egg whites, an egg white protein, nutritional yeast, salt, and cream of tartar. I haven't made this one before. The last bread I made had like coconut flour in it. So anyway, I just want to do something that is just completely like no carbs, no fat, just protein bread. So we're going to give it a go. Perfect. notice you you're using uh, silicone pans yes so it doesn't stick I'm gonna use my fingers here so I don't want to hear any hate about me using my fingers in the kitchen okay you don't want to use our own fingers in our own food is that gross ew <laughs> you'd be surprised <laughs> Looks like a big souffle. So, I think that's done. Okay, I'm just going to turn the oven off now and let it sit for 10 minutes. Oh. Alright, there we have it. We just have to let it cool now. It's a little bumpy on top, but kind of bread is this? It's like a protein bread. It's protein basically bread. egg whites, egg protein powder, nutritional yeast, cream of tartar, uh, maybe some salt. I think some salt. Okay, I have a confession to make. It's nothing that I'm happy to talk about. Okay, not a big deal. So the confession that I have to make is for the next two weeks, we will be putting our Airstream in storage. It's one of those things I talk about in previous videos where, you know, we have family things going on and it's not that I'm gonna stop making videos because I still have plenty to say. We still have plenty that we want you to know about us. Well, not only are we here with our daughter helping her right now, we're also going to be helping our oldest son who's moving from California to Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee to be exact. We're gonna be driving across country in a moving truck and some cars and we got 
four four days to do that there's going to be lots of things to see along the way there and uh, unfortunately like i said the airstream is going to be in storage it's weird for us too to have it in storage for that long but uh, it's something we have to do but we want you to come along we're not going away we all go through this even if you're living full-time i know plenty of full-time people who have to put their uh, rig in storage or they have to store it someplace or they have to leave it at a campground or whatever they do because we all have regular life to live as well sometimes you just can't stay in your rig like us right now we can't just leave it parked on the streets so we have to put it at our storage facility which is that airstream that's a good thing that we have a place to put it uh, so it doesn't somebody doesn't slam into it in the middle of the street i just want to keep it real with you we look forward to taking you along with us and uh we'll see what happens we're here at airstream to drop it off <laughs> don't cry so i remember showing you uh one of these uh sewer hose compartments where I just use the Velcro tape. I'm going to show you this other person's uh, sewer hose function thingy to be what he did. Now, I don't know if this is some type of aftermarket thing. It basically has locks on the doors. And then little uh, clips to hold it together. thought it was pretty interesting. But here we are dropping off our baby. Sad day. Bye. Bye. It's gonna be all right. We have an exciting few weeks ahead, so yeah, we do. At least she'll be stored safe, and uh, yeah, the next three weeks we're gonna do this. We're just like, we're like vloggers. So we're going inside the Airstream dealership and to see if they got anything new. So this is Airstream's uh, current inventory. Not a lot. We're hoping on seeing this particular 2021. Oh, they, have oh, they do have it. They oh, have it. the Pottery Barn. Oh my goodness. So this is the Pottery Barn this Special Edition Airstream. Well, it doesn't look like it's all white on the inside. The refrigerator is on the same side as the stove. Oh, that's a good idea. Right? Instead of like always having to go back and forth. That is just stinking awesome. So what size is this? Looks like a 27, isn't it? I think it's a... I don't know. Oh, is there a walk around bed? It must be a 28. Do they have the paperwork out here? Um, it is a walk around bed. Oh, it doesn't have... Look at these fun little shades, babe. You can't really see around them. Maybe we should do this. Maybe. Instead. Look at everything fancy Dan. He's because nice even switches. then, you still have the shade underneath or no? Oh, look at this. Even their air conditioning grill. Look at that. Oh, wow. That looks so much better. I'll move the TV to this side. Uh, the shower door is cool too. Why do we have to have it so low where it's in your walking? This right here, look, come here. <clears throat> this right here. This, like, why? Why would you put this, like, right? right? Why, why would you do this, like, right here? They should have put it on that side. This is a mistake. That's the only thing I don't like. Oh, they separate. This is nice too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at the tile. That looks classy. Is that real tile? Is it just... No, it's like a vinyl. It feels hard. It's a vinyl. Do you think simple? Maybe feel that. This would look nice in the Airstream. Maybe this could be our next mod. I like everything. 
They're very low. They have the TV that goes back. That's nice. It sits back if you want it to. Is the shower wow. different? That's got nice fixtures is all. Okay, but you know what they did is they took away your wardrobe. Did you notice that? This is a great thing here. I love this, this back couch area. I wish we had that. Well, that's a 30, but babe, do you see this wardrobe? That's all you get. This one little, this is it. I would love a tabletop like this. And I think maybe we could do something like this and just mount it like that. So you don't have that leg at the end of ours. You know, we have that little leg that holds it up. Right. This is nice. It's beautiful. So that's nice. I love the fabric on these things. It's very interesting. Um, uh, but this here. Are you kidding me? This thing is beautiful. That would not work for us. Show me the wardrobe. Look. It's tiny. It's like, it's not even half of the one we have now. Oh yeah. That'd very, be all of our clothes in there? It's very small. Yeah. You have to fold up your clothes. Um, yeah, you'd have to really minimize. You have to be a clothes These shades folder. are really nice. These Roman shades are beautiful. Even nice hinges. I love those hinges too. Face. Like I like our doors better. Sorry. I love the look of it, but functionality wise, these puck lights are really nice. Oh, these aren't the puck lights. I'm thinking of their like puck lights. I mean, would I love to change our little lights out with stuff like this? Can we do that? Here, open the sink. That's your, oh, that's nice. They have drawers in there. Convection oven. negative functionally it's lacking it's kind of sad but because because it, it doesn't the wardrobe is too small the silverware drawer you have literally have to bend over to get your silverware like it's they placed it in this weird place there's no pantry um so i think maybe they could have i mean it's beautiful i love all the you know aesthetically like the cabinets and the blinds and the fabric and you know and that but functionally I think they could have arranged things a little better why can't you just do a, a like a flying cloud pottery barn like a 27 foot leave it all like everything the same but just put in like nice cabinets and nice fabric and okay here's a feature we wanted to show you which we really like as well I mean this a little, could be a little desk what about this a, a... you can put a laptop on it here how about if you sit there see if it's comfortable for you I'll hold it. Go. Does that work for you? Actually, Does that thing close while it's on there? That little thing on the side? Can you close that while you're sitting there? There you go. Nice armrest. Yeah. And then your laptop, you're at laptop size. But I guess you could put anything else you want to put button connections and things like that. Does that have plugs in there or no? No plugs. in here is just beautiful it's really nice I mean the hardware and all that's really pretty okay so for me I and I understand what she's saying personally I really like it I love the way it looks and all the little upgrades are just make it that much more special but for Tammy I'd give it a mm, eight out of ten eight and a half oh. she'd probably not give it that much so Hey, that's just way different ways of looking at things. She 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 looks at it the way that she has to operate in here. Because I do all the cooking, like, yeah, no pantry, and you got to bend over to when you get in your silverware drawer. No, that ain't gonna fly. little accessory I kind of think is neat is this thing here so you just set it into your window frame and you have a little table I was worried it would move a lot but it doesn't it's got little rubber pads here so it doesn't sit against your rig mm -mm -mm. Okay, 
so after viewing that uh, airstream there, I really the pottery barn edition. The pottery barn edition. We're I'm really glad just to be able to go see it. But uh, we didn't also get a price. I don't have a price marked. A lot of time they put the price out. So none of them had the paperwork in it. So I think they're doing it's like a market value now. <laughs> Whatever they can charge for it, they're going to charge for it. <laughs> Tammy was talking about doing some pottery barn inspired modifications or upgrades on our own, which. He yeah. really likes the way it looks, and oh, I think I we it. can we can do some things to our airstream to make it like pottery barn inspired. Right. So we could do some upgrades. We haven't done it. I didn't want to do it while it was under warranty. And it's man, it's a year out of warranty now. Right. Isn't it? Next month it'll be a year. So uh, all right. So that was cool. Glad we got to see it. Really, honestly. I know. I didn't think I'd ever actually get to see it in person. Yeah. I didn't think they'd ever have one here. So. Yeah, it's I'm beautiful. I'm kind of glad. Like I told him, I'm actually. Not as jealous now after seeing it in person. I think I could do pottery barn inspired and be happier with my edition. Yeah. It is less room. It feels a little less roomy on the inside mm -hmm. because of maybe just the way they're decorating it. I don't know. Uh, I know it seems like something stupid, like super simple, but if you have to open a cabinet and pull out a drawer to get silverware, it just, for me, that's, a, that's like a deal breaker. A deal breaker? It's a deal breaker. You could always just move it and then it wouldn't be a though. they have no well, drawers know, he, except behind a cabinet they do all kinds of nifty things okay look if you agree with me if you could comment in the in the comment section below and you know let's have a conversation about this should drawers be behind a cabinet but i would agree with you okay no i would agree with you i'm just saying that that wouldn't be the deal breaker because i think if if you like the rest of it you could always modify it just like anything else right I mean, I suppose you could, but why would you spend that much money on an Airstream that you have to modify? It's true, but yeah. if you liked it enough. Because uh, ours is perfect, except maybe the decor. Maybe we can, upgrade, we can it. upgrade the decor a bit and make it even better. And while we're just sitting here in the parking lot, look at that old Airstream sitting out there. No. It's a triple axle. It's big and old, like me. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. We have plenty of more videos coming up, so I hope you stick around. And until the next video, until the next time I see you, take care of yourself, stay safe, and as always, peace.